Alright. So, um, last time I streamed this, I 3-starred all of 50cc and 100cc. And did like 5 out of 12 and 150cc. On, I think it was Mon last Friday or, mo or this Monday or something, I brought my Switch with me to work. And on the bus and on my brakes. I, uh, three start a couple more. So we're down to the last two. On 150cc. I tried the Triforce Cup last night after the stream. Twice real quick before bed. And, uh, the game cucked me real good. I had one attempt where I was... First place at the end of the third lap. And I got rocked by, like, 14 items in a row and I finished fourth. And then I had another one where, uh, same thing, but I ended up second. Right at the last second. So that sucked. Just check. Alright, I need to move the camera over a tad. See if this is okay. Let's do a tiny bit more. Uh, please? That's probably too much now. A little bit too much. You see how it just like jumps? There's this like random sweet spot where it just jumps. Did the credits roll? Dude, it's like not even. Actually, that's perfect. Okay. Not even. It literally just ended. Like I didn't even realize it ended until I was like, uh, what is happening? And Chad was like, dude, this is literally the first mission of the DLC. So it just ended and then yeah, well, it just restarts you at a higher power level. So again, really great missions with a horrible progression and presentation as far as that goes. So uh, I'm going to have to give it nine and three quarter wizards on the moon out of 16. Not very cash money of Bungie. I love the irony that, granted, I, I haven't done any endgame grindy stuff, but I've seen that a, a lot of people are saying that it's a lot easier to hit the power cap than usual. So I love the fact that it's like, they're finally away from Activision, and yet it seems like they charged out of the ass for not very much content. Don't you shrink your cam enough that it looks like you're actually driving the cart? Because I'd be facing the wrong way? Although... Although... Actually, I was gonna turn around and then I realized I wouldn't be able to see the screen. Never mind. That bit wouldn't work. I'm trying to win here. Look at the map, I'm crushing it. This this track, for some reason, I, I just crushed them. Well, with you, how you drive, listen. Who's in first? Uh, that's what I thought, okay. Okay. Mario. Wahoo. Winning is for losers? That's one, baby. Actually, speaking of face cam, I'm considering shrinking it a little bit. But then again, now that I look at it, it looks fine. So I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, bullying, please. I'm getting cyber bullied here, gamers. So now that I know the tracks, obviously doing a little bit better. Okay, the thwomp almost fucked me. It's good, dude. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm curious to see um, the quality comparison, like I said. I'm assuming there will be no difference. 
Part of me kind of hopes that there is no difference, just because, like I said, it'll be... It's a lot less work post-stream to just, like, record locally and then upload that to YouTube. But there's also the part of me that's like, well, I hope that it looks better without recording locally at the same time, because that just means that the quality will bump up, and that's a bit more work after the stream, but it'll look better for it. I hate this game. I usually always smoke the AI on this level. Again, for three stars, I need to win first place on all four races, so... It's gonna be a yikes for me, bro. What even happened to me? Where'd my shell go? Am I... Is this real... Is this real life? It collapsed, son. This little cheeky little cunt. Alright. Any spooky games for Halloween? Nah, probably not. I don't care. I really don't care. Um, I've been trying to think of just like spooky games in general because they always make good streams. Besides Resident Evil 7, there wasn't really anything... I don't know. I, actually, I was thinking maybe of one game. I won't say what, just in case. And it wasn't even because of October, it was just one of those games that I thought of, and I was like, Oh yeah, I never streamed that. Maybe I should. Alright, well. But, I, I hate horror games. Only good thing about them is that like they make for good streams and good money, because you guys are trolls. You scare the shit out of me with, like, tips. But god, do I hate horror. Okay, so there are shortcuts that I need to keep in mind. Blair Witch sucks, I tried it once. The day it came out, I streamed it for like an hour and I was like, yeah, no, let's <laughs> let's play a game that actually has shit happening. I really like the uh, VHS mechanic, but the game is dog shit. God, the dog was annoying. The constant barking and ugh. Fuck off, dude. I forgot about the dog. I tried to, like, block it from my memory. Really? I got through the whole thing. The end segments had its moments, but not worth the drag to get there. Yeah, no, that game is just not good. I was actually very intrigued by it. And, like, when it got announced at E3, I was like... What? So I was like, cool, man, this this will be dope. And the fact that it was on Game Pass was super dope. And then, yeah, I attempted to stream it, and it was just not good. So this is the race that I can never get first, by the way. I always get wrecked at the last second. So wish me luck. Although this and the next race, I've gotten bamboozled on. That's the first time I win this on 150cc. So as long as I don't choke in my hometown, we good. We Gucci, as it were. Getting it itself was also so fucking stupid, if I may say so. I believe you. I believe you. Also, how you doing, Spanish? What's up, dude? Speaking of uh, a stupid ending, were you here to catch the ending of Shadowkeep? Or lack thereof? God, that was so weird. Good start, Shiz. As now I was grabbing food and sitting on the toilet after that. As you do. Dude, it was, uh... Sudden isn't even the word. It was, like, jarring. Jarring. 
Wait, that could go on lap one? The fuck? See if I could cut him off and clip him. I was so close. I want to die. I, I honestly want to die. Why would I do it before turn? I think it's safe to say I'm not getting first here and this whole cup was for nothing. Pro gamer, by the way. Oh my god, why don't you turn? You're looking like a fool at your hometown. Zelda's gonna think you're a fool. What if Zelda was a girl? You're more like, is a bitch. Where do my shell go? Um, hold on. Oh, I caught up. Okay, well, I had to open my big fat mouth. Can I bomb him from here? Nope, I'm gonna hit myself. You played yourself. Alright, we got one more lap to turn this around, gamers. Let's get this fucking bread. Let's eat. This wheat. Fuck you. Oh, I clipped him. Alright. Fucking loser hits himself with his own green shell, dude. Are you surprised? You know what I mean? Why didn't you turn? Why didn't you turn? Oh my god. He literally just did not turn. Mm. We're at the end, by the way. Yes! Justice has been served! <laughs> Dude, my heart is going to explode. <laughs> yes! Oh my god. Lightspeed, I unbanned you before. Lightspeed Halo is not currently banned from this channel. Like Halo 2 sudden? Way worse, dude. Way worse. I literally, I thought I was doing the next story mission and then I realized that we were doing the first story mission over again. That sudden. I did it, gamers. I can't believe it. I thought I got ruined at the last second. And, uh, I did it. Honestly, that was 100% skill. And no luck involved. Now let's do the bell cup and let's finish off 150cc. Lightspeed, maybe, maybe the fact that you've been banned in my channel over 99 times. Maybe it, like, perma banned you even, like, I can't even revert. <gasps> we can't even reverse it. That clown horn, by the way. Okay. Lamo! Instant karma. Instant karma. Don't ever Lamo. So, uh, I don't think I've ever done this track on 150cc. Considering how sharp the turns are, this could be a problem. Oh my god. Luckily, I'm a Drift King now. So we should be okay. I say that. Watch me get to lap three. Just drift off the fucking edge like a pleb. Oh!
I was slamming on the brakes. Hello? Oh my god. Sweet iframes, bro. I was literally slamming on the brakes. Race one of four. Oh my god. What is happening? And I it bounced off the wall and went backwards. Okay. I didn't even know that could happen. At least I sniped somebody with my banana. I literally landed on them. What is this, my life? No! Oh, Isabel, you cunt! You little cunt! What the fuck? Oh no, I... I tried to throw the banana, I got... I tried to throw the banana in front of me. That's just bullying. That's just bullying. Let's, uh, let's, 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 uh... Let's try to forgive the game for crashing right there. It happens. Sometimes games just don't work. 2019 is a perfect example of that. I know this is from 2017, but let's just pretend. Uh, don't put down Isabel. She's pure and innocent like the perfect daughter. That doesn't tell me to screw up and runs away with a boy for two weeks. Want to talk about it? What is that fucking clown... Hog. Okay, the sound that my hips make. Now that I'm old. I don't... I don't understand why sometimes he just doesn't turn. Did I get Sweet Retribution? Did I bump them off the side of the fucking course? Like how I went out the last game? Still doing okay here. Never mind, just kidding. Still can't drive lol. I I I was holding the brake. Okay. No, that's cool. That's dope. Grip blade speed halo, you'll be missed. Try again tomorrow, I guess. Dude, if your account actually is like dead in this channel because of the abundance of bans, that would actually be really funny. Like, it would suck. Especially considering you have like the resub and shit. Oh, right. That'd actually be really not cool. Uh, please? Again, why are you not turning? I don't know what it is about this track, but, uh... Fuck! It just doesn't turn. What's up, DDA? How you doing? I'm okay with that? I'm not. I want my sub money, dog. Guess we gotta get light speed 95 up to 99 plus pins too. God damn. How's um taking a food break from Destiny? How you liking Destiny? I just finished the uh, campaign apparently.
That ending would have been less abrupt if my Xbox crashed. Also, that last mission was, uh... Potentially amazing, but ended up being very lackluster. Now I think about it, it was hype in the moment, but now I think of it, I'm just like, wow, they really... Could've... Gone a lot harder with it? Anyways. Up to 9.15, basically raid ready, gonna try to get a little higher before Saturday. Yeah, but what about your power, power level? <laughs> Yeah, I saw that. Uh, I saw Goth tweeting about how a lot more teams are going to be raid ready because it's a lot easier this time to hit the power level, which is kind of cool. Because I remember Forsaken, it was like. Now that I think of it, I was just like, "Well, oh, okay, I guess there's not much there." What a rip! But at the same time, I remember Forsaken. It was like you literally could not raid unless you were like a full-time streamer for like five weeks. Because the it was just so impossible to level up. Is this 200 CC or mirror? This is the last uh, 150 CC. Next is mirror because that's 150, and then 200 is last. And I want to die in advance. Campaign was incredible. They did the lore community justice. Set up so many story arcs. Okay. The, okay. I mean, the lore seemed cool. Campaign was far from incredible, in my opinion. I like the missions. I w was I not holding the banana behind me? The progression and the way that everything went was dog shit. Do a really cool story mission. Okay, now go and like kill fifty fallen. With sniper rifles, because you haven't done that 800 million times. You were holding it in your hand? I was paying too much attention to chat, being flabbergasted by DDA. Thinking the campaign was incredible. Then again, it's DDA. The Destiny guy. 2D, how you doing, man? Yo, 2D, congrats again, chat. If you didn't know, I got my last Borderlands 3 achievement today and I got the completion, which is awesome. But Tootie had actually like planned everything so that that would not only be his completion, but he hit 200,000 gamer score on the nose. And it sucked for him that he couldn't really do anything on Xbox until it got patched. So luckily, it didn't take too long. All things considered, it should have worked from the get-go. Don't get me wrong, but considering how long some patches take, it wasn't too bad. But, uh, yo, Tootie got his completion and got 200,000 gamer score on the dot. So shout out to him. Very, very cool. You know what's not cool? That. I can't believe I won that last race. Even though I was holding the banana in my hand and I thought I had it behind me. I hope that I pull off this this first place. Thank you, Epic. Yeah, that's an Epic Gamer moment. I thought I was gonna jump over it. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe they'll never learn to do all the achievements. Achievement again? Nah. I should. Yeah, you know who sh needs to learn? Me. I gotta stop reading chat on the fucking turn. Oh oh oh! Get him! Oh god, it feels so good seeing it happen to somebody else. That's an epic gamer moment. Alright, this time I'm holding it behind me, gamers. I've learned the error of my ways. Fuck you, Lemmy Winks, or whatever your name is. I should have kept the banana. I got greedy. I tried to. I tried to take him out. I got greedy again. I'm gonna pay the ultimate price. Give me something to protect me, please. 
Banana green shell. It doesn't matter if it's that type of achievement or not, something is broken in every game nowadays, it's true. That is very true, my friend. Chad, I don't know if it's um, my allergies, like the end of allergy season or the change in weather. I don't know if I'm getting a cold, but yo, my throat and stuff is completely fucked. I hope I'm not getting sick and losing my voice. Oh, fucking kill me 200 ultimate speed skills. Yup. Cool, huh? And before Ghostbusters broken or ukulele? Hopefully not, but maybe. It's nice to know that ukulele is getting good reviews and Eternal DM'd me the other day when the embargo lifted and she was like, yo, ukulele is really good. And then I checked it on the Xbox store the other day and it was like 39 bucks instead of the 80 that I expected. So that's dope. I'm honestly kind of tempted to pick it up. Although I can't pick it up on release. I got no money. It comes out on the 9th, I believe. I might pick it up on the 15th when I get paid. We'll see. Yeah, it's on the 9th. But I gotta check. On the 15th, there's Children of Morta. I, if it's the game I think it is, it looks really cool and I requested a copy. I just threw that into the finish line like I always do. Please don't. Fuck my ass. Range Brothers start Destiny 2 for the first time Tuesday. He's already 8.33. Uh, that makes sense. That's awesome. Oh my god. You know it's not awesome? I'll give you a hint. Although it looks like everybody got ruined there. Yeah. So it's not too bad. Okay, here, catch this. I knew it, I knew it. Why'd I even bother? Ah! Oh, nice, he ran right into it. Perfect. I, um, I'm like 860-ish DDA. I like also that I went into a mission but I believe it was the last story mission at 860, only to find out that it was literally the first story mission again, but just 860. No! Not at the end again, not at the end again. Fuck! Oh my god. I hate this game, I hate this game! Every time right at the end. Fuck off! Every time right at the end, it doesn't matter what position I'm in. I still can't believe that campaign ending. Let's continue, cause uh, let's let's get the coins. Um, I I I don't even think I've hit two thousand of the ten thousand coins. If I decide to perfect this game, which if if you're unaware, requires you to three star all Grand Prix, so fifty CC, hundred CC, hundred fifty CC, hundred fifty CC mirrored, and two hundred CC. You have to uh, get first place in every race in each Grand Prix. And you also have to beat every dev, dev time in the time trials. The first two time trials that I tried, I've done that. Out of the 48, I guess. Yeah, there's 12, 12 Grand Prix, 4 tracks apiece. So log logically, 48 tracks, fuck off. Um, I'm sure some are going to be really gross. The second one, I, I beat them by by seven seconds, so that was pretty dope. God, the AI is so unbelievably cheaty on 150. I can't imagine how bad Mirror and 200 is gonna ruin me. Although some people in chat were saying like 200 is brutal just because like obviously the speed is just like too much. But some people were saying that 150 was worse. 
so who knows? But again, let's just try to to fit. Why did I do that? To finish in a good position. Get some coins because, like I said, in order to unlock everything, you need a total of ten thousand coins. I'm sitting at just under two thousand, I believe. Are you? I'm. I give up, dude. This game clearly just does not want me to... I think the game is like glad that I'm playing it and so it's like don't ever leave us. speed is like f-zero oh, it's disgusting I tried it and it's gross yeah frenzy Mario Kart game kart racers in general are always like that the the longer you're in first place the more they screw you over and um, especially the last lap they're like on a mission to get you it's almost beneficial to stay in second place if you can and then try to just like uh, blast by at the like End of the lap. Wow. Oh, 2,100 coins. Okay. 21%. RNG is too real. See, I told you guys. RNG is my worst enemy in this game. Like, obviously, I suck at games, but I think everybody can admit, like, memes aside, I'm, for the most part, riding pretty decently now. Now that I've, like, learned the tracks and the mechanics and stuff. I don't think it's as obvious now that this is my first Mario Kart in 23 years. But uh, RNG, obviously RNG Jesus and I have a hate-hate relationship and that's never going to go away. That's just our life. Uh, FRNZ or Frenzy, by the way, welcome to the stream. And uh, shout out to Strange Nine Penguin and Anthrax Bees for the follows yesterday, by the way. Or Penguin was today, Anthrax was yesterday. Anthrax bees, though. It's like Ebola mosquitoes. What a world. Nature, so beautiful. But, uh... Yeah, man. Once again, this is the last 150cc cup. We could do it, man. I, honestly, this is one of those games where the completion depends on how it goes what I mean by that is I know I could do it if I sink in the time we're just gonna see how it goes it, like in the sense of at the moment this is my favorite game right now and I want to not hate it so if it gets to the point where this is like just so bullshit that I'm not having fun I'm gonna stop so that I don't keep pushing until I get all the three stars and then I hate the game if I get to the point where I'm like really like I hate everything about this, I'm gonna stop and um, or at the very least take a break because I I don't want to hate this. You guys know me by now. You know that I've done that a million times, especially because of Xbox achievements, where I'm like, this game is fantastic. I want to get all the achievements, and then you know halfway in I'm like wow I want to die and whoever made this can eat a dick you hug the walls more than you hug your mom she's be all gasp actually yeah the, the, this I don't even say this track this cup I'm not good at cause, to be fair I, I don't have experience in this one every time I've played this cup I one shot at it Oh, that's a blue shell, so let's just shoot that. We'll keep the coin. So that when it strips me of my coins, I can give myself some back. Seeing as it's worth two coins. Oh my god. Again, second half of the last lap. You, di you just gotta ruin everything that I just worked so hard for, game. Never gonna hit him. Oh, he's right there. Oh, please, please, please. Oh, baby Jesus. Loaded. Hashtag fuck shadow keep. 
the thing about Shadow Keep is the you know it's the typical. Um, I really like the game, but not how it's done. If that makes sense, I love the missions, but the way that it's organized, the way that its progression is, is dog shit. So I would say that I had a good time a third of the time, but the other two thirds, I was just like, why did I? I must admit that overall, I do regret buying it. I know yesterday Joe was like, you didn't buy it, we bought it with like bir birthday donations, and I'm like, yeah, you can't. That's a fair point, but at the same time, I would have rather spend that money on another game. Same with like Untitled Goose Game. If I just, I don't know. I, maybe I just gotta try that on another day when I'm in a better mood. But when I played it, like, er and everybody watching was like, yeah, no, this is boring. So I don't understand why literally everyone is so in love with that game. I just thought it was super boring. Like, good on the devs for it becoming a crazy success. And I hope that it comes to Xbox and PlayStation, and I s hope it s sells like hotcakes, because it's so hard for indie devs to, to make it. And people are generally enjoying it, so awesome. But personally, for some reason, I just found it incredibly boring and not interesting. And then Super Mario Maker, again, I think it's because the one day that I played it, I was in, like, the worst mood of all time. And so, uh, playing that horrible campaign, and then player-made levels that were just made to, like, piss you off. Um, it's maybe not the best time to start the game. So I gotta try it again. Yes! Oh, I th what? Did he hit it? Hello? But, I w man, lately I've just been thinking, like, man, I spent a lot of money on just shit. But Mario Maker, I could see myself getting really into. I just... I think I just had a really unlucky first... First stream. Fuck. To be fair. But yeah, Shadow Keep is like, I don't know. I might, like I said, just do little things here and there. Just to kind of get my power level up for when they decide to continue the campaign. Uh, I'll be ready. But at the same time, I really don't feel like continuing. And actually, now that I think of it, would that even be... Because I just got the Shadow Keep. I didn't get, like, the Shadow Keep Season Pass. I don't know. Pray with me for Jedi Fallen Order. Dude, it looks so good. I, it looks so good. I really hope it's good, man. Especially when, once we find out found out sorry, that you could go, like, anywhere you want. And it's not as linear and Dark Souls-y as they made it seem. Do you play Mario Maker 2 story or custom courses? I did a third of the story and then I went to custom courses. The story was dog shit. I was like thinking they're Nintendo made courses so they're gonna be great and then everyone's like yeah no the story's completely phoned in. And I was like oh. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense because I hate it. I thought the it was really really not good. I, I think my problem was that I was playing player-made levels that were, like, tough, but not, like, tough enough to warrant being so frustrating, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like if I were to play an expert level, I wouldn't be as annoyed, and I would keep going until I got it. But when you're going into a random level, and you're like, oh, it's got, like, a 15% clear rate. Can't be that bad. And then you get ruined instantly, you're just like, I, I hate life. But again, the game, the day that I played that game, I it was like the worst mood I've been in in a very long time, so who knows. Also, um, there is, there is a sound now for the blue shell. See? The like, dee, 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 dee. You do hear the blue shell coming. It also shows on the mini-map. Unless there was another sound. Like I was just saying, I haven't played a Mario Kart since the 64, which I googled was 23 years ago. Um, so maybe they added another sound effect in, in later Mario Karts that I'm unaware of. But um, 
there is a little bit of an audio cue. Although, to be fair, the red shell made the same sound, so there's, it's not a distinct sound, it's just a sound that, like, something's coming. Literally the last turn, by the way. Oh my god. The last turn, I went for first to fourth. I am trying to keep myself under control. She's getting hyped for a game. Oh no, 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 no. Didn't I tell you about those last minute fades? Oh, I'm well aware. That's not new. That's been around since the beginning in Super Nintendo. Oh, speaking of which, uh, chat, I'm going to stream the Super Nintendo Mario Kart soon. And I can't wait, dude. So many memories. So many memories. I never even owned that game. I played it all the time with my cousin. So, uh, chat, how amazing is this? Um... My cousins used to live literally two streets away from me. Now, uh, my oldest cousin is a guy. He's four years older than me. And then his sister is a year older than me. And then my sister's two years younger than me. But when we were kids, it was like... They were a few, older, uh, f few years older than us, but it was like still like perfect age that like... The boys always hung out and played, the girls always hung out and played. And being two houses away, it'd be like, sometimes uh, we would all go there, sometimes they would all come here. So... Um... Whatchamacallit, yeah, him and I always played... Like, well, my first console was a Super Nintendo, but the first one I played was a Nintendo, and it's because it was his. Right? And then, um... And then on the Super Nintendo, like, my sister and I played uh, Super Mario World all the time. And like, we, like I said, we didn't have Super Mario Kart, but he did, so I played it all the time with him. And so, like, he made me fall in love with video games even more. He's the one who introduced me to, like, rap. Like, really? It was, it was, it was good times, man. For sure. Does he still play games? Nah. No, I'm the only one. My sister too, like, um, her and I used to always play Mario World together. We used to always play Mario Kart 64 together. We used to always play Super Mario World together, and obviously I was Mario, she was Luigi. Always played, and then after a while she just lost interest. Typical, like, girl things. But, um, it was good times when we were young. I'm, now I'm the only, like, gamer. And even, uh, I mean, my dad got a Super Nintendo because he was into games too. And, like, he had, um, for the old ones in chat, we had an Amiga PC or computer. So I, I played, like, the Wolfenstein 3D, like, demo of level, just level one. And then I had the Amazing Spider-Man. I've showed it on the stream before, but it, it, it the, it's so fucked up. The, the, I have to show you guys, those of you that missed it. Let me load it up here. I have to show you guys the most weird thing as a kid. Let me just like start it. Check this. It's the weirdest thing in the world. First of all, I, I can't believe that at one point this was like mind-blowingly good. Spider-Man Amiga. I think it was literally just called like The Amazing Spider-Man. But the weirdest thing about this game is your health system was that on the side uh, you literally just gradually see his skeleton like I said I've shown this on stream before but now that I'm older I'm like yo that was fucked up check this that was how the game looked like first of all obviously it looks terrible now 
But like, what the fuck is his health system? No wonder I'm so fucked in the head. Because my childhood was seeing Spider-Man's legs deteriorate. Like, what? Isn't that weird? Over the years, it's gotten worse. First, it started just as a red shell in SNES. Now it's a full-on blue shell with bombs and bananas. Yeah, you're right. I just want Pokemon to be good. Literally one of the reasons for Switch. That's fair. I haven't played Pokemon since Gold, which was... Nineteen ninety nine. Twenty years ago, I cannot believe it. November twenty November nineteen ninety nine. It's already been twenty years. Wow. I mean this was official? It was, dude. Mysterio was a bad guy. Dude, when I was a kid, that was like mind blowing. I played some. Dude, I remember playing this text based adventure game where it's like one of those, like, you see a Cyclops, do you pull out your sword, run away, like those types of games. So when I saw that Spider Man game, I was like, I'm Spider Man! <laughs> and then now it's funny, you see like a Last of Us 2 trailer and you're like, it doesn't look natural when she winks. She, uh... Has one too many wrinkles. When it's raining, her hair takes four frames to get wet. I don't know, it's, you know, with the budget they have... I don't know. You think, you think that they would have quality, but I guess, I guess that's asking too much. I, I, I'm saying that, like, sarcastically. I'm like the worst culprit of ripping on games. But we all do it. Now it's just like, uh... I played the game at 9pm and therefore she was a little tired and hungry, but uh... The cereal is the bad guy who is... Was a working title... Spider-Man Far From Home? Far From... Far From... Far From Home? Has it been long enough for spoilers? I think so. I think for movies, two weeks. Personally. A month being max. Ga games, I say longer. I generally just completely stay away. Well, I, I generally stay away from spoilers completely. Because you never know. But game, games I stay away obviously a lot longer because games are a lot longer and a lot more expensive than movies. A game like Borderlands 3, you got a full-time job, you got a wife and kids. It takes a while to sink those 60 hours in. The game came out like two weeks ago. It makes sense for you to not be done and I don't want to spoil shit. I hate this game. But if you haven't seen like Spider-Man... The second Spider-Man by now, you just don't care. It's that simple. Or not enough to warrant being mad about spoilers. Like, I want to see the second Spider-Man. I love Marvel. That being said, I still haven't seen Far From Home, because I just don't have time to watch movies. That's on me. I could take a night off of streaming. I could wake up early on a Saturday and just rent one on Xbox video like I did with Dragon Ball Super Broly but that's like literally the only movie I've watched in years but I prioritize streaming so I'm just like nah I'll see it eventually and then I never see it I, I used to watch every single Marvel movie and now I've missed half of them but it's just like, whatever, it's not my priority. But because of that, if I get spoiled, I'm just like, well, that's on me. That being said, if the, the first week, the first weekend, opening weekend of Endgame, when I gotta mute every single word 
related to Endgame to not get spoiled on Twitter. I'm like, fuck off. The worst is TV. Man, I'm so glad I don't watch Game of Thrones. I would be pissed if I watched Game of Thrones and I was on Twitter. Can you imagine you work Sunday nights or like just time zones? You literally have to stay away from everything because people are spoiling it before before the episode's even done. I like I don't I don't even know how people get gifts that early. Like are you watching the episode on your PC with like a capture card hooked up just to like make a gif? Like how, how? People are like I just want to go to meme and a click, so fuck you. Lily, legitimately impossible to avoid flash spoilers, like the flash. Uh, the superhero about me in bed? <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> what, dude? What you talking about? Really, is it that bad? Hold it behind you! Fool! You're a gosh darn fool! God, he's right behind me. Give me something, give me something to protect myself, boy. Bo -bo 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 boy. Shiz can't read? You can't fucking spell. So what's up? Gotta binge or be spoiled? Yup. Yep, yep, yep. I'm glad I wasn't on social media for the Breaking Bad stuff. Yeah, I'm glad that I, I was, again, another thing where like... I know how it ends, but I had plenty of time to watch it, and I didn't. Tootie. I just saw your clip in Discord. I create sports gifts and videos for one of my Discord channels within a few minutes of the stuff happening. Okay, but that's sports. How do you, how do, you do that? You, do you just, like, watch it on a browser? And that's also, like... The Patriots getting a touchdown is not, like... Captain America wielding Mjolnir. You know what I mean? That's yeah, okay, that makes sense. And again, if anybody's mad at that dude, the end game came out like four years ago. Fuck off. If I saw it, you should have seen it. Because I'm Mr. Don't see movies, I hate my life. Um what do you use to make gifts? Sounds arrogant, but I want to make gifts of myself just because I don't want to ask people to do it. But like, I have a couple of gifts that are really funny, and especially now that the camera's like, uh, that I'm facing the camera, I feel like often I'm, I'm very like expressive, I guess, when I'm streaming. If that makes sense, if that's the right word. Very emotive. I feel like it'd be easy to make some good gifts, especially playing like this. Also, yeah, does anybody notice if there's a quality difference from today and the last time I streamed this? Because, uh, like, this game, because there's so much movement, um, the quality really, really dips. Just because my PC can't handle all of the movement. So whenever there's a lot happening, it really gets blurry. So like I said, I'm not recording locally, just to test if there's a difference. I and Every test I've done in the past, uh, the quality doesn't change. So I just record locally because like I said, it makes my life easier post-stream to upload it to YouTube. But um, seeing as I recently changed a whole bunch of stuff, I figured I'd try again out of curiosity. Giffy or easy gif, depending on how much editing you want to do. Okay, let's say I wanted the easiest thing because it's just my face. Uh, let's, let's face it. Ain't nobody interested in that thing. 
Giphy? That's what I thought. I feel like that's the one I see all the time. He creates clips with Twitch and uploads like that to Giphy. Could that work? Yeah, but then that would be the whole screen. Which could work in some cases, but like if I just wanted to crop like this. You know what I mean? Like when I'm playing Mario Kart and I get hit by a red shell and I'm like... Or the opposite, when I'm playing Shadow Keep and I go like... It'd be just good for like tweets and shit, you know what I mean? I, I'd like to think that two of my main fortes are being very um, good at reading chat and working the camera pretty well for the most part, I think. If I can toot my own horn for just a second. If I had more space, if I didn't have the tripod right behind me, man. That being said, I still have way more space than I used to, and I love it. You can't crop on Giphy? Okay. Can you on Easy Gif? Alright, we got the 10 coins. You can? Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my. <clears throat> I love this game. This is my favorite game. This bus game. I hit the ceiling. I think it's lap two. Okay. <laughs> Why I didn't mean to. Okay. Got him. Okay. Well. Karma strikes swiftly, I guess. I couldn't even finish the two words got him before I got hit with a fucking boomerang. So, you know, what is my life? <laughs> well, I'm not mad, you're mad. <laughs> fuck, 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 shit. How does this happen to me? Does this happen to anybody else? Like to this extent. <laughs> and I got pies. Uh, uh. Light speed, what is it wrong with you? can't even emote your account is like perma band you can't even emote are you okay I like easy gif more anyway with the amount of options especially because you can't upload a gift to discord that's over eight megabytes so most of the stuff needs to be compressed that's fair all right let's like i said let's just do it for the coins and the shoties it's the fucking app? Yeah, 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 that's what they all say. Can actually Today I learned you could throw three shells backwards. Also learned this game fucking sucks. Just kidding, I already knew that. Whoops. Hate I hate I hate I hate I'm
Why is he an Astro also speaking in like his elbow pit? No coins, boy. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, boy, 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 boy. boy. Okay, don't give me the boost, whatever. I want to die. That is another failure, my friends. Dude, I, can I even get this done in the next 40 minutes? Can I, can I three-star this before the end of the stream? How did I make so much progress? How did I make so much progress in handheld mode? And then as soon as I get on stream, docked? Nope. Just seeing that Microsoft Duo not going to lie, that would be so good for multitasking. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Like reading your email and also being in Discord? Yeah, that's that's what you meant, right? Yeah, that thing is really cool. All jokes aside. I am a fan. I'll say it. I'm not afraid to say it. I'm not afraid anymore, gamers. Alright, I'm gonna come out and say it. This is the real me. Okay. <laughs> I think it's cool. Also, drinking this beer reminded me that um, two beers just went missing. So I'm gonna have to put my my beers on a milk carton. Also really annoying because I wanted them. Oh, I thought that was a turn. Oh no. We're having a guide open in T8. Yeah, that's it. That's what you're gonna do with it. Dude, there's no shame in having Tinder open in one window and Grinder in the other. That's fine. Live your best life, dude. focus on this track because this one always gives me a lot of trouble. This is going to be awful in 200cc. I'm actually really looking forward to Mirrored. Also, Chad, I don't know what I'm going to stream tomorrow night, by the way. I, it's either going to be this or Mario Maker. Most likely. Or, fuck, we might finally play some Hunt Showdown. Now that the full release is out and all that, and then just hope that there's a population. Or, I'm thinking it's a Friday night, it's a hype time, either this or Mario Maker, or both. Um, and maybe we save Hunt Showdown like for the weekend. How did I not fall off? And then like, worst case is that if it's dead, then we switch to, you know, something else. Maybe that's a better idea. I, I can't imagine the population is very strong, especially now that Borderlands and um, Destiny are out. Unfortunately for them. Maybe Goose Redemption stream? That's not a bad idea. Um, Did I reinstall it? I did not. I'll uh, reinstall it. Maybe we could finally check this out too. Super Beat Sonic. Then I could also uninstall it once I'm done. Watching Twitch and YouTube music same time would be nut or having a guide open in TA. What else would you do? Watch two adult videos open? No. Guessing the population would be under a thousand. Um, that's possible. I don't know if you could check it on console. You could check it on PC. You can see like concurrent players on um on Steam. Dude, August 27th was its original date, and that was like perfect. 
There was nothing else like that. There was nothing, period, besides, like, control. And, uh, unfortunately for them, they had to delay, and it bit them in the ass. Because now there's 7 million games out, and I guarantee nobody gives a fuck about Hunt Showdown. I mean, even me. I was super hyped for it, and then I was like, well... If you think I'm playing this over, like, Borderlands, you're crazy. Remember when they paid for advertisement when it wasn't ready? I mean... Luckily... You know, the game was in, in preview, so it was playable. Right? So at least... <laughs> wasn't as bad as it could have been like if there was no other version but uh yeah no it was not ideal to say the least I really feel bad for them in that sense because I like I only streamed it one hour when it the day it hit preview and I stopped only because like it was taking forever to find matches but the game was phenomenal I've played Membrane Kaiser. Kaiser, um, I think a little bit before you started watching, I did what I call the poverty stream. And I want to do another one sometime soon. I went through the eShop deals because some of them are just so absurd. Um, and I think I spent something like 15 bucks <clears throat> for a total of like 10 games. And I gave each game like 15-20 minutes, except for Frederick 2, which I did a full playthrough of. It took like an hour and a half. Because it was like just it was like Guitar Hero but with a keyboard and it was so sick. Um, and Membrane was one of those games. And I've been thinking about doing another poverty stream. Because it was just so good. The people loved it. I even made a playlist on YouTube. I did individual uploads for every single uh, game, and then I did a playlist for it. For nine cents, it's worth it either if it's good or bad, right? Yeah, for sure. It, uh, to be fair, it's like one of the ugliest games I've ever played in my life. But um, it starts off interesting enough for the first few levels. Like you'll have fun for 10, 15 minutes. For nine cents, who cares? Party stream is so damn good. Bless Switch. Yeah, I was looking at the deals uh, the other day, actually. Like, oh, in the past week or two, and there were a bunch of games that were, like, a buck. And I was like, actually, just, uh, like, the one I showed here, Super Beat Zonic. This is, like, a legit legitimately good rhythm game. Like, um, I know people like Cully and stuff um, played it on Xbox, and they said it was, like, it was super hard, but it was super good. Uh, I got that game for, like, two bucks instead of 20. I was literally just out of curiosity looking through Switch deals and I saw that and I was like Huh? A bunch of games that are like two bucks instead of twenty and I'm like how is this possible? Really you buy it and if it's really bad you'll find a dime on the ground and get your money back, right? Actually, now that you mention that, dude, the one good thing about buying this and and uh, and Mario Maker like on the same day, like back to back, was now that I think of it. I, I, now that I think of it, I was saying how like I regret buying Goose Game. Uh, I basically paid for it in gold coins that I got from these two games. Shit, I thought I could uh, go around it. Fuck. That being said, still annoyed. But yeah, uh, we might do a Goose Redemption stream. I I always do it. I always do it. I start drifting way too early on that turn. I eat shit, and it just costs me so much time. I mean, not like it matters when you got everybody sniping you, point proven. I could not ask for better timing.
Gold coins are OP. Gold coins are fantastic. That being said, I really do wish that um, online storefronts on consoles would allow for refunds. If they had a, a thing like Steam, where uh, if you play it less than two hours, you could return it. Unless, I guess, obviously, you know, not for a Goose game, because the game is two hours. So it's like if you get lucky, you beat it in under, an hour and 45 minutes, you don't get a refund. But let's say you play like uh, Borderlands 3 and you don't like it, or because of the glitches, you're just like, fuck this. Just get rid of it. Like me with Shadowkeep. On night one, I would have just been like, if I if refunds were a thing, I would have refunded Shadowkeep and scrapped it. Xbox does refunds the best. I've never done an Xbox refund. But now it's way too late for Shadowkeep because I obviously played too much. I mean, I finished the story. PS4 and Switch are pretty awful for refunds. I mean, Nintendo is just like... Don't ever expect to get a dime out of Nintendo. There's two things you can be... Three things you can be guaranteed for Nintendo, okay? Quality games, horrible online, and uh, they want every dime you have. Like, Nintendo games, like, first parties never go on sale. You won't ever have a good online system. I mean, they don't even have party chat yet, dude. The only reason that my Switch is somewhat decent online is because I have an Ethernet to USB adapter. And so I have... And that, to be fair, the Switch is so thin that it doesn't have room for an Ethernet adapter, but the dock could have easily done it. And obviously, that's where my adapter goes, right? It's in my dock, in the USB slot. Goes from the USB, and then there's an adapter goes uh, that the... Ethernet goes into. It's just so archaic in so many ways. Nintendo's always like that, man. They're so ahead of times and so creative and innovative in some ways. Like the Switch. It's so much weaker than the Xbox One X and the PlayStation 4 Pro, but you know what? You can't take your Xbox with you, like, on the bus. The handheld thing is such, such a game changer. Especially look at like a lot of um, content creators, influencers, whatever, they play their Switch on the plane. It's so practical. I play it on the bus. I can't play fucking Borderlands on the bus. It's beautiful. Also, we finally did it, baby. It's beautiful. They're so ahead of the game in so many ways, and then they're so behind in so many ways. I just realized I have to shower after the stream because I didn't have time before. Look! Although I must admit, you guys, most of you guys won't know this, but when you have long hair like me, the nights where you wash your hair and then you go to bed and your hair's all wet and fucking Medusa-ish, you're just like, yeah. Nvidia Shield did it first, but that was niche in comparison. I feel ya. Alright, so we did it, gamers, by the way. Screenshot that, send it to Obama. Let him know that I'm the man. So, uh, look, if I kill the webcam real quick. 50 is done, 100 is done, and 150 is done. Is this the legendary god gamer? Let's try mirror, baby. I'm scared. Because now we're getting into un uncharted territories. Unknown. I have so much shit now. Let's, uh, let's start from the beginning. I had long hair, I hated trying to sleep while it was wet. I mean, when I say wet, I'm not, like, you know... Like, damp. Because I, I don't, like, blow drying my hair. I let it, uh, air dry. But luckily it's so thick that it didn't take too long. Long enough that I didn't have time to share before today's stream. It's just a YouTube video playing, you aren't actually playing, what the fuck? Fuck. I got found out. So I remember... ...that mirrors were always harder. Awesome P for four bucks. God, what a game that is. 
Yeah, you might as well just spend five bucks and get it on Xbox and get achievements out of it. Or get on PlayStation and get some trophies. Because if you're looking for gameplay, that ain't it, Chief. The mirror is 100 CC. I was just gonna say it seems slower. Is it? It actually doesn't seem that much slower. I can't. I honestly can't tell because it's all straightaways, and that last cup was a lot of turny stuff. I. Are you sure? I feel like it's 150. I like how the lap counter's even backwards. I'm still so mystified by those two missing beers, gamers. Where'd they go? I think I only drank five last night, not seven. Although they were the tiny little bitch cans, so who knows, maybe. Maybe I didn't even notice because they're so tiny. Alright, we got the max of 10 coins. We got first by like half a lap. What's up? I'm glad I'm not one of those people who needs every game on digital store or physical weekly. The weekly game people who buy every single game that hits and then they never play. Yeah, I never understood that. I've, I'm sure you guys have noticed. I've very much calmed down with the amount of games I stream and play because uh, I used to do I would stream a game for three hours and be like all right if you like it you know go check it out but it was it drove me crazy that I never finished anything ironically I got more achievements and completions back then but god it drove me fucking so crazy to always start games and never finish them so I didn't have time, so I was starting like 10 games a week. And now it's just like... God, everything sucks, I'm just gonna play what I want. And... God, I'm so much happier playing a Mario Kart... Which I've technically beat. And obviously not getting achievements. Um, I'm having so much more of a good time and I think making so much better content when I'm playing stuff like this than being like, here's the new Radaleka, fucking, yeah. Let's just achievements and chill, dude. Personally. Used to request garbage after garbage. I mean, to be fair, indies on Xbox used to be good. There used to be like a couple a week and overall they were really good. Now there's like 28 games a day and there are like 30 of them are terrible. That was different. But now it's like I still look at all the indies that are coming out and I'm just like... Nope. Nope. I'd rather play a fucking Backlog 360 game than play this shit. I've also made it a point to stress myself out less by not getting stuff or requesting stuff if I'm working on something. Like right now, uh, I, 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 got, I get press emails like every day about this indie, this indie, whatever. And I was like, I ain't doing shit. Because it's going to be Borderlands, and then by the time I'm done Borderlands, it's Destiny, and all that. So I've just been like, I've been reading the stuff, but either ignoring or just whatever. And then even now, I'm just like, alright, well, I could just get right back into looking at what new indies are out. But I'm like, who cares, they're all bad. I'm just going to play fucking Mario Kart and Mario Maker. Why did I do that? Just say no, I don't even answer. A lot of, a lot of, um, those people prefer you don't answer instead of a no. It's just less emails for them to read. So 
I when it's like when I'm not interested in a game, I just delete the email. I'm sure some people think I'm a dick, but I know that a lot of people, um, you know, they they have so many emails to send and so many channels to check out, but that they don't want um, emails saying like, "Hey, thank you, but no." Oh, do, like, don't get me wrong, like, that's how this channel grew at first, really. Is indies and achievements, really. But, can I pick this up? So there was just a planted shell? That's a thing? And I'm only finding this out now? The fuck? I was wondering if it was just, like, there to pick up, like, the mushrooms. Again, like I said, indies used to be just a lot better. Games in general were better. I don't know if I'm old and jaded, but goddamn, the games suck now. But um, a lot of people found me because I was the one streaming the games that nobody else was streaming. And again, if indies were still good, I would do that. That's why I still stream the indies that interest me. They're just more far few in between. I still stream, you know, my friend Pedro and the messenger and all that shit. But achievements and indies are really what started this channel, and now it's like I've strayed away more and more from both, but it's just like Sorry man, they're just both awful. <laughs> A few gems out there, it definitely is. But more and more, I'm finding them on the Switch, not the Xbox. Again, Messenger. Um, Never Give Up. Katana Zero. My Friend Pedro. I mean, My Friend Pedro, gra granted, the last quarter of it sucks, but the first three quarters were really good. But most of the good games that I played this year were not on Xbox. It also goes for PlayStation. It's not just an Xbox thing, it's just the Switch is, like, awesome. So I was saying yesterday, I was kind of like, kind of ranting and just like annoyed, but I still was like, man, I'm like, compared to like six months ago, I'm not that excited about the next gen, like Xbox Scarlet and PlayStation 5 and shit, compared to if they, if they were to announce a Switch Pro, I would lose my mind. Whereas Scarlet and PlayStation 5, I'm like, yeah, I'm more, I'm more... Honestly, more gonna get a Scarlet because it's my job than than because I'm excited. If I could be completely honest with you, at least that's how I am like today. Obviously, once we get closer, I'm gonna get hype again. I mean, obviously during E3, I was like, let's fucking go, but. Transistor is only four bucks. Bastion only three. Bastion is great. I don't remember what Transistor is, and I've never played it. But Bastion is fantastic. I played that on the 360 and the one. I rebought it on the one, on the one because I was like, yeah, buddy. Or I don't remember if they gave you a free upgrade. I just remember replaying it because I was like, yeah, no, this game is fantastic. They actually uh, they did the same thing as what was that? What was that game? Not Dead by Daylight, but something similar. Deadlight? Deadlight. I think they did like Definitive Edition or something on the Xbox One and they added a couple of achievements that are really cunty. Um, they did the same in Bastion. Uh, Bastion was one of my first completions. It's actually the reason I got an HDTV on the 360. Because I love the game so much. Uh, and I was playing on a CRT. And I couldn't read the text. And I was like, nope. For this game, this is unacceptable. It's time I do the upgrade. And I paused the game. I went to Best Buy with my friend. We picked up uh, an HDTV. Came back here, set it up, and played some Bastion. You think of all games, right? You'd expect it to be like a Halo or a Gears of War or something. Fucking $15, $20 indie game Bastion. But, um... I completed that game. Loved it to death. And then, yeah, they... Fuck off. 
Isn't this the last race? It is. If I lose right here. Okay. And then they, uh, which we're gonna put it on the one, and they added some achievements that are just gross. Shadow Keep ended abruptly with a Shizbiel uninstalled. No, I finished it. it. The story just ends abruptly. It's literally, Joe, it's abruptly to the point. I'm not gonna spoil what happened, okay? It's abruptly to the point that, um, I won't even tell you power missions to not ruin, uh, power levels to not ruin anything. But it was to the point where I end the mission at, let's say, uh, uh, 100 power. And the next mission is a 120. No way. Yeah, I somehow clutched it. Wait. Gamers? First, uh... First... First fucking, uh, Grand Prix in Mirror, by the way. No, see, it's 150 CC light speed. You can see the 150 reversed. The first one, we three starred first try. What's up? What's up? See, the thing is, because I'm bad in Mirror, I'm the best. This is my mode. We're gonna do one more. Uh, whether we get first or not, this is my last run of the night because I do have to wrap up. But uh, yeah, Joe, to give you an idea of how abrupt it was, it was I do the 100 power mission, and then I start the 120 mission, and I'm like, this is. This is the first mission again, but just a higher power level. Like, I I've, I, don't think I've ever seen an ending that abrupt in a video game. There was like a splash screen, and I was like... Oh. Uh, what? And then, yeah, sure enough, it was just over. And obviously DDA, because Bungie and Destiny can do no wrong, thinks that it was, like, riveting. And I'm just like, okay. I thought the story missions and the story itself were really cool, but... God, the progression and delivery left much to be desired. And it also made it very obvious that uh, that's, it's either not done or something. So I was like, great. Just when you think I can fucking leave. Not even as abrupt as Halo 2 cucking everyone with the cliffhanger. It's funny because somebody asked the same thing in Spanish, I think. Yeah, uh, dude, it was more abrupt than Halo 2. Because it wasn't. They didn't even give you. They weren't even courteous enough to give you a cliffhanger. It was just like, oh, by the way, it's done. Anyways, how did. I saw that you like Joker? Curious to read your thoughts about it because I've I've heard mixed comments. I saw like IGN give it a ten out of ten, and then Brian Altano of uh, IGN, although not a reviewer, especially not movie reviewer, said that it was a very like uh, unnecessary movie. Saying, I'll I'll, I'll read you his tweets right after this race. It was interesting how he phrased it. It, to be honest, it made me not want to see the movie at all. So fucking good. I just got home and I need to write my review. How are you all big? How am I the only small one? That sounded... Man. Somebody clipped that, but just black screen it. What's his name right? Brian Altano? I'm not losing my mind. Yeah, Agent Bizzle. I thought Joker was a pretty tame, flat, one-note film. It doesn't work as a horror film because you don't care about the victims. It doesn't work as a thriller since he's largely unopposed. It doesn't work as a character study since he's deranged from the jump. It just exists. I left the movie feeling like I, feeling like I had just walked through a cobweb. Something that seemed well-constructed from afar, and technically is, but also something that feels thin, flimsy, a little gross, yet ultimately can be brushed off in a few seconds. There's nothing really here. 
<laughs> Andy Cortez, haven't seen it yet, but you're fucking wrong, bro. Very much disagree. Okay. Joker Stein's gonna get get up in arms on that dude. So many people in his replies so angry that I haven't seen the movie. He's seen it, they haven't. But they're like, you're wrong. Hope he doesn't get hurt. Hope he doesn't hurt himself or get cut on all those edges. Yeah, you know, he's yeah. You know, Brian Altano's the man. So we were playing these backwards, dude. Oh, how did I miss that jump? Could I be bad at video games? Is that what's happening, gamers? God, this is so hard. realize I'm not even at 10 coins. I definitely gotta get on that ASAP, get that uh, speed boost. <clears throat> Fuck off. Oh boy. Here comes the pain. But I'm glad you liked it, Joe. Dope. I mean, uh, I personally... I'm expecting it to be stellar, because Joaquin Phoenix is fantastic. And the Joker is obviously such an interesting character. Obviously so fucked up. That was unfortunate. I swear to God, if I get fucking passed right at the end. My grandma said she'd be surprised if you didn't get the Oscar for it. That's awesome. That's obviously a good compliment. The fact that my grandma really liked it says something. She's not a fan of comic book movies. I must admit that from the trailers, I definitely don't get the impression that it's a comic book movie, but just a movie. That being said, I was just going off the like first first uh, official trailer chat you ready to see me get my butt rocked because this is the level boy oh boy is this the level I already struggle with this so doing it backwards is gonna be awful So yeah, looking at the time, like I said, this will be the end of the uh, the stream, whether we three star it or one star it or no star it, doesn't matter. We're gonna do these last two tracks and we're gonna wrap up. We'll find somebody to raid tomorrow. Um, I'm leaning more towards Super Mario Maker, maybe with some beers. We'll see. I kind of don't want to. I kind of want to like try to not drink and smoke this weekend. 
But we'll see. Um. Yeah, I'm leaning towards like Mario Maker, but we might just continue this. Or like I said, start with Mario Maker, and if it gets really frustrating, just switch to this. But uh, most likely we're gonna do some some switch things. Sorry if I'm not really reading chat, I'm just trying to end on a high note and not, you know, have this all be for nothing. No smoking, I believe in you. Yeah, I mean, flat out, just this paycheck, I'm just like so broke that I'm like, oof. I mean, Wednesday is far away. The problem, uh, especially on weekends, oh my god, I was not paying attention. Is that smoking and drinking go hand in hand? When it's Friday night, Saturday night, you're having a couple of smokes, you want to have a few beers, you're having a few beers, you want to have a few smokes, and so on. But I have like just enough smokes to get me through tomorrow, and then, um... Yeah, I guess, like I said, I... I might have two beers hidden away somewhere, but I think my case is empty. So... If I don't get a pack and I don't get a case, it's not a bad idea. Oh, it's this track! Oh, chat. Wish me luck. I can't even get first on this, it, like, the right way around. Mirror just gonna kick my anus. First turn, by the way. Oh, yeah, right, that makes sense. Okay. I've always loved mirror tracks. It's just, it's so crazy that they go through that much detail and work, in my opinion. You know? It's so unnecessary, but so appreciated to me. I hit the brake so hard, dude. Okay. Got him. I'm gonna keep this just in case I get hit by something. Because again, you get a, uh, a little bit of a speed boost at 10 coins. So, I've learned to stop. Actually, unless I get the chance for a double item box. Oh my god. If I could get a double item box like that, then I take it. Otherwise, um, I keep the coin for it, when and if I get hit. Because you lose a few coins when you take a, a hit. I was just about to hit the item. The super horn. Fuck. Alright. Back to max coins. Again, press break. Didn't fucking get it. Oh my god, I missed her. I missed her. Oh, did I? I... I I was too busy looking backward. Really? I, w I wasn't even landed back on the stage and you hit me? Well, this run just got ruined, I think. Are you fucking kidding me? Also, I just got like magnetized into the wall. Thanks, game. Nice toss, Link. Are you serious? Are you serious? I was trying to throw it forward to hit Mario. And this little pussy boy throws it directly in front of himself. You gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. Oh my god. Last race, by the way. Last race right before the final lap, huh? Or, sorry, final lap right before, like, the final turn, huh?
It's so annoying when it's on the last race and you know that the past 15 minutes of your life were literally for no reason. At least if it's on the first race or two, you could just quit out and restart. But when it's the fourth, it's just like the last turn of the last lap on the fourth race. Fuck you. Mario Kart in a nutshell. How I love this game and how so many of us love this game will always mystify me when shit like this is just the norm. Oh, fucking suck a dick. Garbage. All right, well, that's going to be that. Let's uh, find somebody to raid.